Hello, good morning. It's half past nine. I had intended on getting up at like seven o'clock this morning and that did not happen. I am just out of the shower and I want to compare two SPFs to see how they hold up on my skin. I would love to be able to say I'm an SPF ass bitch, but I am just not. I will wear SPF all day, every day, if it doesn't break up my makeup and I've yet to find one that doesn't do that. Ren. I'm a brand ambassador for Ren Skincare Ireland and they are launching in Ireland this year their mineral sunscreen and they reckon they've hit the nail on the head with this. According to the girl that I liaise with, Ren Vaya, she was saying to me that they actually, they've spent years formulating this and they would come very close to launching and they would pull the product because it wasn't absolutely perfect. So they are really confident that they've done it with this but let's see. I used it the other day once and it looked promising but today I want to do something a little bit different. I want to pit it against image skincare. You can definitely, <laughs> there's similarities here for sure, but image was the best one I found up until now. So my plan is as follows. I'm going to apply the Ren on my left hand side of my face. I'm going to apply the image on the right hand side. I'm going to apply obviously the same makeup to all my face and we're going to see how it fares out during the day with both SPFs. I'm like a little fucking scientist. I will have pricing information listed in the description box down below for anyone who's interested and I'll price it out per mil as well so you can see exactly which is cheaper. This launched in the UK earlier this year and it's going to be launching in Ireland VV soon. Details in the description box down below for anyone who's interested. I cleansed my skin and moisturized it using my usual products. I used the Ren Rosa Centifolia Cleansing Gel followed by one pump of the Keep Young and Beautiful Serum, half a pump of the Keep Young and Beautiful Under Eye Lift. I feel like it's like a bra for under my eyes, I love it. And I've also been trying this new Glow Daily Radiance Vitamin C Glow Cream by Ren. It's fucking gorgeous. It smells like holidays. It's vitamin C. And the girl from Ren I've been speaking to said, basically, if you're combining the vitamin C with the SPF, it's just gonna be like a protection powerhouse for your skin. I have been using this for about a week and a half now, and I've had no adverse reactions. I find my makeup sits lovely on top of it, so I know that if my makeup does break up, it's not this. It's gonna be the SPFs, either or both. Uh, the way my relationship with Ren works is, I could literally come on here and say, this is the biggest load of shit ever. I will upload it, and there is no issue. They have asked for my honest opinions, at every point. I am not under any obligation to say that this is amazing. Just saying. I'm going to use the image one on my right hand side. Right, that's the image side rubbed in. Rubbed in really, really easily. It was nice. Okay, the Ren side is definitely a little more difficult to rub in and you can definitely see there is more of a white cast. That is both sides rubbed in. You can definitely tell there's more of a white cast on the Ren side and it's definitely a little tackier looking than the image side. The Ren side was a little bit harder to work in, but not what I'd call hard to work in, just a little bit harder than the image. I'm going to wait five minutes for that to sink in. Um, I'll be back then. I'm going to apply my makeup on both sides and we're going to come back and reassess. Right, it's been about five minutes. I'm back. Regarding texture on both sides, the Ren side is definitely a little wetter, more moist than the image side, but they're both a little bit tacky. I'm gonna put some makeup on my face now, and I'll uh, be back. Hi, so makeup done, very simple makeup look, but we're not talking about the makeup today, we're talking about the SPF. I have to say, identical on both sides, looks and feels identical. I will insert the clip here of what my skin looks like in natural daylight, so it's not just studio lighting, so you're able to see exactly how it looks. It's currently a quarter past 10, and I'll be doing check-ins during the day. I'm actually, I'll either go for a walk or I'll maybe go to the gym just to put this to the true test. <sighs> the things I do for YouTube, but hey, it's all in the name of science. Right, I'm just out of the gym. Let's compare. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Both sides look fairly perfect. Um, there's no makeup breakup really anywhere. Usually I'll break up like around my nose and there's like nothing on either side. I take out a sweat on. I did like a good bit of legs. Okay. Okay. It's now half two. I'll check in again in a few more hours. It's been seven, eight hours. It's half past five now. Let's see how we're looking under magnifying mirror. Okay, 
food there. Gorge. All right, I'm seeing some significant differences now. I deliberately didn't use highlighter today, so it would be a little bit easier for me to tell what's oil and what's not because I don't have anything shiny on my face. Let's see if I can actually demonstrate this. So I don't know if you can tell, I'm definitely shiny here and I'm not shiny here at all. Do you see that? And as I said, I have no highlighter up here at all. I usually would have, but I didn't today to make my job a bit easier for reviewing this. But yeah, I'm definitely a little greasier here and not greasy here. Now, another big difference. You can see around my nose, there's a tiny bit of wear there, but that would be fairly normal. But if you look at this side, it's breaking down a lot more and it's a lot oilier. Interesting. I also kind of feel like under my eyes over here is a little bit more creppy. That might not be anything to do with the sunscreen though, so maybe disregard that. The two major differences I'm seeing is this chunk here of oil that's not over this side and then around my nose here compared to here. So we'll say the Ren side definitely looks superior at this point to the image side. I'm going to give it another couple of hours. I'm going for an early night tonight so I think 9-10 hours is a fair enough assessment period to run with for this video so I'll come back in a couple of hours and see how we're looking at that point. Hiya, sorry about the inconsistencies in lighting by the way. I don't know what the hell is going on with my camera. My settings are all fucked. Okay, final check-in. It is 7.50 and I physically can't stay awake much longer and I have a 4.30 a.m. start tomorrow morning so I need to shower and get the fuck to bed. Let's give it one more assessment. It's been, what, two and a bit hours so I can't imagine there's anything that much different. Yeah, it's still the same. Still the exact same as it was a couple of hours ago. I'm definitely shiny up here. I presume you can see that there and I'm not shiny over this side and around my nose on this side. It's definitely not perfect, but I don't know how perfect it would even be if I'd just gone without SPF today. I mean, no makeup stays perfect, and this side is like awful. <laughs> I'm not going to lie though, it's not like the image is atrocious under makeup either, but I definitely feel like the image didn't perform as well under the makeup as the Ren did. There's definitely a little bit more slip and slide. Both were fine, but I definitely would give the trophy to Ren in this circumstance. The fact that I'm a brand ambassador, I know I've said it before, but I will say it again, it has not influenced this review at all. The evidence is on my face. If it didn't come out as well as the image, I 100% would have told you that. And it's not like I'm slamming image either. It's actually worked out quite well today itself. It's just a little bit less oil controlly. So yeah, the winner for me is definitely Ren, but it's not that image was a particularly bad product. It just didn't work out as well for me on my oily skin. Well, oily T-zone. That is everything for today's review video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.